Hi guys, I'm back here with Humphrey's big birthday bag. So last time we, we left off with chapter 2, which is a silly, silly, silly party. And today we're reading chapter 3, The Great, Great Escape. So, so, so if you haven't seen chapter 2, you can, you can go look after this video. So, I hope you enjoy and stay tuned to find out. And now we're going to read. And the date is also 9.20. Now it's time to read. Chapter 3, The Great, Great, Great Escape. The next few days, I was happy, happy, happy all the time. I thought about how happy Miss Brisbane would be on Friday. When the whole class shouted, Surprise! My friends whispered out presents. I thought about how she smiled when she opened her gifts. I didn't practice the birthday song in my mirror. This time I squeaked it, well, not backward. I was puzzled by a few things that happened during the week. On Tuesday, Say and Seth suddenly started measuring my teeth with the ruler. He also measured all things. It's for a math problem, Say told us. Sometimes this person has students measure things for math. So I guess that made sense. On Wednesday, Mandy raised her hand and asked how to spell my name. His first day wrote Humphrey on the board. I also let the students work a lot longer than usual on their arm, and some of them worked with their backs toward me, so I couldn't see what they were doing. They'd never done that before. On Thursday night, I made myself get some sleep. Even though hamsters like me are often awake at night, I didn't want to be tired during this, this first thing. surprise and party on the next day. And those off those for a while and had a very strange dreams. First I dreamed about yummy, yummy, yummy dancing cupcakes. Then I dreamed about a look in this person's face when she saw the gift and the cake and we all squeaked happy birthday to her. So I woke up with a tail pulled up. Oh we sweet, we forgot something. All splashed out in his tank. I took one Or something, so she'll know we're glad she's our teacher. Is explained, but what? Ox turned at me from staying, but he didn't answer. I guess it was up to me to think of an idea. We couldn't buy something from a store, so we had to make her a gift. I looked up at the chalkboard with a row of cupcakes above it. I know, I said. Let's make her a cake. Wrong. You can't have too much cake at a birthday party. Boing, boing, boing. And hopped up and down. Of course you can't make her a cake, I said. But we can make her a hamster and frog kind of cake. Boing, boing, boing. I went back into my cage. I was lying to see that my food dish was full of crunchy nipples. They were yummy, yummy, yummy. They aren't soft enough to make into a cake, but I had an idea. One by one, I put a few new tree nipples into my cheek pot and carried them. Now, I'll be a to set them down in front of Bob's tank after a, in a while. I had a nice stack of them. I need your help, all I said when one needs to splash a lot of water so it goes. It's so it goes into new tree nibbles. So then I scampered out the way because water isn't good for hamsters. Box tank has a lid but full of holes, so if it splashes hard enough, some of the water can fly out of the top. Splashed in 
sponsor some more. So in the bottom of the new tree necklace was nice and wet. Well. Thanks, song I said. Then I went straight straight back to work. Straight back to work. So I went straight back into my cage. And So then I went straight to work with my paw. I patted and smoothed the new tree nibbles into a circle. It looks like a cake, I said. It looks awfully plain. Boing, boing, I'm agree. So I went back into my cage and dug around my bed. Sometimes I store food there. I found two dried strawberries and three raisins and pressed them on into the top of the cake. Next, I scurried to the to the table where Mrs. Brisbane keeps food and supplies for Og and me. There were big bags of mighty mealworms, healthy dots, nutrition nibbles, hamster chew chews, and I saw hey yum! Look on a box of froggy fish sticks and a can of crickets. Yup, that's went to front seat. Ew! The frumpy fish sticks didn't look like anything I'd want to eat, but they look a lot like birthday candles. I held my breath and stuck my head into the box. I grabbed a foggy, froggy fish stick and quickly came up for air. They smelled even worse than I had imagined. Then I scrambled back to the top of the cake. They stuck stinky stick right into the middle. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, I caught up. Boing, 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 boing. Looks like he's happy for the fish stick. I thought the cake looked great, but Og seemed a little too excited about it. Just one more thing, I told him. I think a few healthy dots would look nice. Healthy dots are good for hamsters. Also, they are many different colors and look like candy. Mom splashed crazily in his tank. I scurried to the back of the table once again. I was trying to, to work out how how to close the box when I heard people talking. Then Ox started twanging. Boing, boing, boing. I couldn't say anything, but when I heard AJ's loud voice, I knew my friends had come into the classroom. I looked up at the window. It was already light outside. trouble now. <gasps> what did we do? Oh no, Humphrey. You, you got it. Then I heard Miss Brisbane say, Good morning! And the bell rang. The school was was starting and I was nowhere near my cage. I was stuck, stuck, stuck. No! What will we do? And that's the end of chapter 3. We'll see what happens to Humphrey. And then next time we'll see what will happen. Don't forget about to check out chapter two. I'll see you guys on chapter four.